Welcome everybody, here's your strategy wolf and welcome back to Victoria 3 and welcome back to our Mexican Republic with the President Lucas Alaman in 1863 after the, let's say, groundbreaking or massive year of 1862. A lot of things happened. We the coup attempts of the Catholic Church led by him or like by his uh, consultants, I'm not sure, decided to refrain from the idea of uh, staging a coup. On the other hand, we lost some territory in the war versus the United States because our Russian partners were really not strong enough uh, and our own forces have no chance versus the US in the end. So, um, yeah, we lost Colorado, Utah and Arizona but kept on Nevada and California at least for the moment. Um, yeah. But that what happened. On the other hand, we retaliated and uh, compensated by attacking Costa Rica to make them our protectorate. The war should be over in a second, our occupation of the country, and then we can think about also uh, finalizing everything by going for El Salvador too. So much about that. Also, the positivism um, has occurred in Mexico, so more people tend towards this, and the traditional forces are like a little bit weakening. However, we still have the uh, government petition to pass landed voting, which is not going to happen very soon. While we're trying to placate the Catholic Church by enacting consumption-based taxation, um, yeah, how this is going to work out is something we have to observe very closely. So this is the task of the aging president, but actually we're hoping for elections and the change in the government anyway soon. Well, at the same time, we definitely we brought through the Gatling guns or the um, hand hand cranked machine guns since we wanted to yeah build up our military a bit. And I think we're gonna follow this, so at least that we have, um, I'm gonna build up a little bit of our, um, yeah, we need to bring these out just to, and here we're gonna, after these, I'm gonna see, eight years, ah, 35 months, yeah, let's, let's finish over these, these researches here at, um, to modernize our military a bit, so, and then maybe we can build it up. No, actually not. <laughs> Sorry guys, I want to start with the Im Im improved fertilizer since we can of course try, we have a mainly agriculture and we can push this. And yeah, this is, has priority right now. And then we try to militarize a bit, but to be honest, the 150 battalions, there's no chance we're gonna set up such a force. Despite I don't know, we don't have such a lower GDP than the Americans, I don't know how they managed to get there. What, what, by the way, how massive is Cuba? Ooh. That's quite uh, yeah, ginormous. Anyways, that's where we are right now. And um, let's get going and see where 1863 is going to take us. Yeah, and once again, consumption-based taxation is not necessarily something I, def I want. But um, in the moment, it's, it seems to be a compromise how we could yeah, keep the uh, everybody a little bit in check. But the, the main th interesting thing is going to be the next elections. Okay, let's make a peace with them. Yes, more reparations and make them a protectorate. Did they accept? Yes, they did. So then let's also improve our relations immediately. By the way, something I didn't even know is that you can... Did I show you, like, learn the multiplayer? That you can intervene in your... The people or the countries in your market, you can actually intervene in their politics and I think I definitely want to get charity hospitals out here so there will be more Costa Ricans in our market that will be happy uh, hope uh, nice if that would happen same here in uh, Haiti where we also they are also in our market let's see um, they have no health system um, let's at least give them some schooling I mean, they have to bring it through. It's not happening immediately. They have to push it through in their normal political progress uh, process, but um, it's something, you know. And let's see if they will profit from... No, <laughs> the GDP is falling immediately. <laughs> the standard of living. Ooh. But we managed to... Basically, now the good thing is about having them in the market is that potentially we can trade with um, New Granada now without any ships right and you could extend but let's for the moment uh, improve our relations and best case get a trade agreement with them we do have one with ecuador and now we just have el salvador missing mm. 
And to be honest, since we do have the truce with the Americans, let's try to get go for them as well. Yeah. Alaman in his old days, he didn't fulfill his autocracy, uh, autocracy ambitions, but maybe he wants to fulfill other dreams of bringing like everything here under the closer control of Mexico. So come on, let's finalize the project. Whew. Let's hope the best and let's make Sal, 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 Sal Salvador, El Salvador also part of our political or let's say of our landscape here in Central America. And this is a little bit of a bug, by the way, that they still seem to be occupied. I saw this before. It might change with the next step when we like lower the autonomy in here. Mm-hmm. Okay, you guys are fearful. Let's. Why do they have claims? That's absolutely weird. Let's first, yeah, definitely chop us no way. This is going to be a primary goal also, if in case to give in. Oh, you can only ask him to revoke one claim. Okay, but Chapas is weird that they have claims on this, but maybe because there were Central America and we took Chapas to a little bit this, this share here from Guatemala, right? Okay, by the way, and still our... It's maybe from the minting. Oh my god. I think that that's that's the way uh, we it's gonna be really hard for us to Nevada holy schnapps six holy schnitzel 16,000 16k from Nevada alone. So it was really <laughs> at the moment It's good when they're not even fully stacking these gold fields. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this gold rush, uh, I don't know what we would do without it, and we're reinvesting everything down here in Mexico, so good stuff that we kept in Nevada for at least for the moment. We've got military science here in Mexico. The practical and scientific nature of positivism has led to the growing popularity of positivists through the armed forces. Many professors and officers in the Mexican military academies have begun to embrace the philosophy. Through rational observation and a personal understanding, a leader can whittle the engines of war or finely tune calculation. A precise calculation of which artillery can put the right amount of ammunition on a target with variables accounted for for maximum effect and minimal casualties. Men supplied and armed with exactly what they would need, plus a little extra and just enough motivation for to storm a fort. Wars in the far future may become bloodier, but they will at least be efficient. Yeah... No, a foundation for a new military doctrine. I don't need to push them too hard. This is fair enough. And once again, let me know in the comments what you think about positivism, if we should really push that through. So um, we start in positive epoch. Um, I am i don't think so, because it's not really what we want. We want a more communal, like I said before, hippie, happy-go-lucky uh, <laughs> lifestyle here. And not... elitist project and positivism is a little bit elitist which would draw back probably rights also for the poor people um all right so we can't sway this time we can't bring guatemala in which i find actually weird since aren't they our puppet already yes that's let me know also if you get an explanation for this so it looks like we have to mobilize our navy once again for this landing effort where's the navy by the way stationed uh oh Let's see, let's see, let's see. By the way, should we maybe go for Panama instead of uh, improving our relations with them? That's also an op opportunity. Yes. But let's do this first. At least the US and everybody's staying out. That's a good one for us. The Great Molasses Flood, while the war has broken out, okay. A storage tank full of them to the brim with molasses intended for rum distillation has burst, flooding the streets of Chilpankingo's commercial set, killing dozens and injuring hundreds of bystanders. The molasses, waist deep, covered the streets and swirled and bubbled about the wreckage. Here and there struggled a form, whether it was animal or human being, it was impossible to tell. Uh, only on a people a thrashing about the sticky mass showed their life uh, there where any life was. Um, Guerrero, do we have a lot of food industries? Food industries over here, at least two. Yeah, I radicalized in this case. 
they have anyway such a should have such a high um, migration att attraction. Oh yeah, and there we go. Ah, the um, they got angry again since the um, thing is out. The uh, you know what I talk about the, the the government request, and I think I'm gonna use this to maybe social mobility in in, in Yucatan in Jalisco can be stopped because we lost authority again with the unhappy with the unhappy uh, Catholic Church, and I don't want to yeah get more radicals or an anger the opposition. So that's why we're gonna continue like this oh our gold mines in california the art of doing nothing though previously opposing the consumption-based taxation laws federico de la santa cruz has considered the landowner's political position instead offers support while speaking with constituents on matters of law one must first master the art of appearing to do nothing while you do everything behind whispers and masked men indubitably okay Yeah, the landowners, and I don't really want to strengthen them, but they're super happy at the moment. But also the Intelligentsia, so maybe actually let's go for Welcome their support. I mean, the question is, shall we actually go for it? Because at first I said they're just gonna do this, because mine is 33, uh, 3k, you see. We have to change a lot and bring a lot of taxation laws out, um, uh, consumption tax out, to kind of fight that. It is possible, though. Um, it's like the US American system in the end. It will save up some bureaucracy, on the other hand, also. And by the way, I totally forgot the war. <laughs> ay, 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 San Salvador, of course, and yeah. In 11 weeks, uh, you have to travel around the Americas first. It was not perfectly planned to pick up the guys in California and then to land down here. It is what it is. In collaboration with the Liberal Party, Antonio Martinez del Rio has secured a deal for cheap and quickly distributed pamphlets in support of the party. The interior of the carriage held a pleasant surprise. A crate of several thousand pamphlets printed on industrial scale, each with instructions on the voting process and cheaply copied logo of the Liberal Party. They made a hefty weight and he hoped would turn out to be an equally sized benefit. He gets ambitious. He's... Oh, the petite bourgeois, no. No, bury our opponents in a sea of paper. Let's have a look how the... Oh, the Liberal Party. Oh, this is a tough race. Between the Liberals and the Conservatives. Who? I mean, of course, I, in this case, I hope for the Liberals, for the future, uh, for everything we're trying to do. But let's see. How's our fertilizer production, by the way, going? Rio Grande not really growing. Huh? Let's get another out also in Mexico City, I would say. Awesome. Yeah. And maybe one in Jalisco. And let's push them up because other if they're quite important right now. We crush these, or we pass the 60 million GDP. Uh huh. Now we're getting closer to the voting. Um, total separation. But yeah, I mean, the, the, uh, they're gonna get happier after the government petition has failed. That's that's for sure. And after Alaman dies, and this is gonna be happens, it's gonna happen soon. More gold in California. Um. That's quite happy, actually. What we did. more gold fields? Yeah, we are. I'm really happy to keep these provinces here to financially benefit. Yeah, um, maybe we need it. If we further want to transform our society, we need to keep our. We def on Salvador has been is captured already. That's good to see. Yeah. Um. 
yeah, we need to keep the, the church happy. I'm pretty sure after him, there's not going to be a traditionalist again. So maybe they're happier in general, but... Yeah, financially we're doing fine right now, you know. Mm, we have a high investment pool. I didn't even see that incoming. That's So we can potentially even expand our construction a bit. Well... Actually, I think I'm gonna pass the consumption base. See, we have so many... Um, yeah, we have so much here out road maintenance and so forth that we can stop potentially to host the infrastructure usage here to issue some more um, consumption taxes to probably make up for the loss. Um, what do we have right now? So let's have a quick look. We have per capita takes the poor um, that disproportionately taxes the poor through a combination of income and per capita taxes yeah whilst the uh, if the other one we can see a little bit who we want to tax depending on the goods we're taxing you know unfortunately the conservative party won tightly again um let's let's quickly have a look on the situation how we can now there's no chance to reform it and once again we're not gonna get the Everybody what? They all want to join the Conservative Party? Yeah, but you know the reason why I don't want that to happen since um, this. And it's once again, you can uh, you can get me that it's maybe a little bit cheesy, but uh, come on, if you then I make them automatically join and not give me the chance to not have them join or not. If we have them all join, I mean, they will probably get quite happy soon, but nope. Alaman stays in power and he will do what he needs to do, but uh, with, just with the landowners and the Catholic Church and we shall see where this goes. The popular playwright endorsed this reform. Um, yeah, we know this already. Uh, this happens pretty often, either taxation chance, group attraction or the prestige. And since we want to abolish the... over time... Let's get the group attraction, I'd say. Or the prestige is the prestige quite relevant for the moment which wouldn't it make us jump somewhere no it wouldn't oh, it's so close to austria wow now let's take the intelligentsia group attraction let's have a look what's ah uh, we're not exporting to salsa salvador anymore but should be able to pass this peace deal yes and now you see they're still occupied in a weird way uh, yeah. New Granada. Let's imp stop improving the relations and begin improving here with El Salvador. But finally, um, yeah, we are the, what we wanted to achieve, basically. Everything is in under, con under our control down here in Middle America. Charity hospitals are out already. Interesting. Um, can we do anything? They have pretty good laws already. Let's restrict, try to restrict the child labor. Anything else we can do down here? And we could, apparently with Honduras, we can start uh, annexing the subject, but I will start with Guatemala for sure. If we start an annexation progress, would they actually accept? 70% chance, okay. And Nicaragua would accept, interesting. But they wouldn't. Why can't we? Maybe we still have the truce, yeah. Six months left. That's something to debate. If we want to start annexing these states immediately as soon as we can, I think to some extent, yes. Because I think the progress we displayed here with having them as protect protectorates first or as our puppets, um, I think symbolizes kind of nicely a looser integration that I wanted to sever into the Mexican... United States of Mexico, let's say. And yeah. And it's just a logical, I think, just a logical development if we would integrate them, integrate them even further. So Guatemala developed nicely or not bad. So say, ooh, 11.3, same with Honduras. Same with Nicaragua. Wow. Central American states. Oh yeah, now they all, they all profited a little bit. And there we go. Now, we without even looking, we passed the consumption-based taxation. And this is gonna twist everything a little bit around in a second. We shall see how this affects us. Yeah, 
Minus 27k. Definitely need to get something out, but we do. It's getting cheaper, and so we can get some out. Um, what I would like to get out is probably the luxury clothes. Because, first of all, they're cheap and they go more for the upper strata. But maybe transportation as well. The other things, I don't want to hurt our poor people too hard. Let's get transportation out. Let's get the luxury clothes out. And we need to save up somewhere. Bolstering the Intelligentsia. Well, this would be probably the easiest way to stop. Can we um, get the road maintenance away? Is this okay? Since... Uh, nope, we cannot. But then we shall definitely get finally the railway out here and maybe the waterways too. Yeah. Um, this means let's maybe stop bolstering the Intelligentsia for a while. And we need some more tax, but I think since you also the general tax is lowered now since we're taking less money This means also a relief. It's not like we're just taxing the hell out of our people suddenly um, I mean you could get the clothing tax out, but maybe let's try how let's see how this establishes itself at the beginning maybe in the meantime <laughs> Do we get any this uh, problem with the um, gold fields here let's encourage the resource industry here to get more and also in california to get even more out of the gold mines and the gold fields it should help right uh, i'm not misunderstanding the resource industry mines throughput so it should tell direct should directly also influence the um, gold fields yeah and we have a hundred left can we get one simple text maybe on wine yeah let's do it a wine text oh what yeah, I told you, and sometimes it has to adjust first. And can we lower the overall tax in this case? Uh, it's just jump back, it jump back, it's a wild mix. Let's just keep it running for a bit and see where this goes. In the meantime, what can we do for... Um, to make our country progress a bit? Yeah, uh, Probably nothing, because we have to wait until the Catholic Church... Um, Where is the minus 20 from the failed, um, the minus 20 from the failed government uh, petition? Isn't it there? Well, um, I think we should ne nevertheless, I'm gonna wait a little bit. Question is in the end also how old, old Alaman is going to blunder defenestation, that is not it. How slowly he's going to, uh, when he's going to die, and who's going to be his successor is quite a big question, I think. Um, from failed petition, minus 13.28 down there, are other factors in the lower there you see it, there it is. So, once they have calmed down a bit and this is forgotten, I think we can look into further. By the way, we're gonna act here at Industry Ban. Or shall we? Actually not necessary, right? Is there any problem? I mean, here's the idea, yeah, they're really bad here for state, low state construction. Yeah, let's do it everywhere, I mean... The industry has to be in... Uh... I, they will be destroyed, oh my god, I didn't read carefully enough, oh god. Oh my god, I just destroyed all there in... Oh god, this was stupid. Robert discovered in Guatemala. My, not that terribly stupid, I would say. Uh, yeah, whatever. Actually, whatever. I mean, here in Honduras, uh, yeah. It's never gonna be the most, um, the most efficient one. 90% in uh, annexation of Guatemala. Shall we go for it? I think so. 3.3 infamy, but I think we should be on zero anyways, yes. 
There we go. Guatemala is annexed. We will also incorporate immediately. Five years will take some time. Ooh. But it's nicely. There's a nice build up. A lot of stuff in here. That's good to see. More Maya population. Population. I mean, we could continue immediately with Honduras and also probably with them. Yeah. Will we? Shall we? Shall we? I think we shall. There we go, Honduras. And we shouldn't have done the industry ban before. That was a little bit stupid. But we get from farms to factories. Uh, apparently, uh, the, the, the industrialization or the farmer population in these kind of... Uh, places where it was lower than for us so road to progress the industrialists have expressed their satisfaction with the direction being taken by the country and its newly built factories shall we strengthen them no i think we've done this for our people mainly yeah we don't want a too strong industrialist party especially since they're tending towards the conservatives at the moment as well Oh, now our investment pool is actually going down. That's why we're having plus. But I'm really surprised that we managed to... That, what, what, whoa, whoa. This must have... Okay, this must be maybe through... Yeah, to the annexation of these three countries. Despite the destruction that we caused. I, I'm, I'm quite happy with the build update, actually. Construction. Yeah, the construction sectors. That's why it's also nice to keep them for a while as Russells, I would say. Interesting, interesting, interesting. This leaves me with the idea that we might even turn up our construction even further. As our minting, by the way, has increased probably even more. Boah, Nevada, 21,000. I mean, the resource industry really helps out here. Yeah, I'm gonna turn up a lot of them now to... Iron frame. But iron is getting too expensive. That's the problem. Right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Iron is really ex turned expensive. Do we have some in construction already? Um, then I would absolutely prioritize this. Uh, artillery foundry in Nicaragua. Why not, actually? If it's already that much built. Let's quickly check if there's even more iron we need to... So never was already in, oh they can just bring in more people okay we need more people that's it mexico yeah let's bring some of them to five do we have enough people here oh yeah and what i hadn't looked at just thinking about our mining situation here is and we're discovering gold in sonora even better Ironclads, okay, this is not something we don't want to do right now. What I haven't had a look at is our companies, to be honest. Um, do we have some for iron? Can I, maybe we're going to take out our metal works, to be honest, since we do have already some tooling now. Or the wood is also quite low productivity, let's see. Is there anything? Uh, let's have a quick look what we can actually attain. <laughs> Obtain, attain. Uh, I mean, here we probably want like to expand, also mix the textiles, I assume. <sighs> Food syndicate, uh, the Mexican metals here. Yeah. To be honest, I would rather get the Mexican metals now for the iron mills in. So let's get rid of one of those uh, and. The infrastructure is quite nice right now, so I'm getting rid of the metal works. And let's get the Mexi Mexican metals in. And also prioritize a little bit our mine mining uh, efforts over here, but not entirely, like some of the steel mills maybe. And what I just saw, I think what could be helpful for the future is also to get... 
uh, more gro um, actually some gross food industries out because also for the market access and for the local prices and so forth you know that every big town has basically a little bit of a food industry cannot harm us but this is the future let's see and let's just read these events and then it's actually i think a good moment for us to stop this very episode but at first the gold rush gold has been discovered in sonora and yeah, i'm not gonna read it to you once again but uh yeah rather migration attraction especially here in the homelands of mexico police brutality in guerrero um no let's rather actually tolerate the not tolerate the behavior so we secure the happiness of the of the uh, trade unions and then i think we're just gonna go up directly after and that's it for this very episode so we saw the official expansion of mexico down here and now we just have like annexation of uh, nicaragua honduras and um, guatemala so yeah we grew to the south after losing in the north and at the moment we changed our taxation system which led somehow to a huge increase in our standard of living everything basically so the last look actually on our urban centers um let's go to good ambulance even then to be honest and just push this and yeah exempt those where it doesn't make sense and uh, let's see that we can even push our um, standard of living further we will need glass okay and let's see that we get some immigrants because this is potentially potentially now one of the bottlenecks we do have uh, we need to modernize and get some europeans and others from the world to strengthen our economy and our country but that's uh, for the future and maybe also for after the death of lucas alaman who is still like with the age of 72 uh, in charge and leading the masses and now after these we yeah, are turmoil the years having the country in some kind of stability again even though the radicals went up high in comparison to the uh, yeah <laughs> to the um to the loyalists after a while again but nevertheless we're gonna see what the future holds for us let me know what you think let me know what next moves we shall take what next next um laws we should envisage but how we change mexico and apart from this of course if you liked it would be fantastic if you leave me a like and subscription to push this channel a bit and support my efforts while well, it doesn't cost you anything thank you very much for this and of course most importantly see you next time in the next episode bye your strategy wolf